Welcome back. For the past few weeks, we've celebrated all the different cultures that make up the Hispanic community here in the U.S. and how that diversity only enhances our experience as a nation. And today, as Hispanic Heritage Month comes to a close, we're headed to the Latin American country closest to us here in Los Angeles. It's a taste of Mexico. Here to take us <laughs> on this culinary journey is TikTok chef and recent winner of the Great American Recipe on PBS, Silvia Martinez. Congratulations on this show. Thanks. So you say that this has been a full circle moment for you, right? Yes, thank you so much for having me, first of all. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. You know, I never thought about uh, going to a culinary career because I've been cooking since I was very young and it's like, kind of easy for me, hmm. right? So I jumped into human resources when I was in Mexico and then I met my husband, I moved to the United States and I have kids and the kids change your life mm -hmm. in a way that you never imagined. And with that, I wanted to share my heritage to them. And I thought as a, at that point that starting a blog would be the best way. Uh, and I started putting the recipes there too because the food is just so important for Mexican families. Mm -hmm. And uh, doing that also create like a digital cookbook for my family in Mexico. So they can come later and they wanna make a recipe. They can just go to the blog, right? Uh, so, the, and I start sharing all my recipes all over and it's how the casting a team for the, the show found me. And one day I was in my house and the next day I was in, you know, national TV cooking. <laughs> <laughs> just a normal Tuesday. Yes, yeah, just like that. <laughs> so you brought us some of your favorite dishes from childhood, so what's first? So this is sopa tarasca. Okay. It is from the state of Michoacán in Mexico. Okay. It's based with roasted tomatoes and beans and like oh, fried hell yes. and the, <laughs> Crispy toast, toast and, you know, tortillas come, uh -huh. but come because you had to eat a lot, mm -hmm. right? Okay, okay. Oh my so, God, it's so good. I know. You can have it later. Oh, I uh, know this. No, we're gonna have tostadas. And okay. tostadas is so great because, I mean, you can serve it for like vegetarians or vegans or meat eaters. So you have all these like, the bean, yeah, bite it. It's so fun. I mean, it has to be messy, mm -hmm. right? Oh so my it's, God, it's so it's, good. It's great for parties and celebrations and for everybody I love in the tostada. family. I know, mm. it's just so versatile. And then, did you know that in Mexico we have more than like, I don't know, 300 kinds of pan dulce or sweetbreads? This is why I love you most. Okay, yeah. this is a uh, mantecada, which it looks like a cupcake, but it's okay. actually a muffin. It's and a, it's orange well, both are flavor. Good. And um, Wait, it's very easy to make at home. Okay. So you don't need to be a baker. You, as a mom, you can make it, and then you serve it with some hot chocolate. Oh, fine. Yes. I love my job, and Sylvia. And how about you? Do you love yours? With your chocolate. Mm. Yeah, I absolutely. Uh -huh. so try and let me, what you think. Mm. That's good, and it put the little orange on top, too? That's yes. nice. And thank you. you. Oh, thank you so for having nice. me. <laughs> Congratulations, this thank, is so cool. Thank you so like much. Like doing something you love and being recognized for it, that's really cool. I know, it was a, a great validation and it, and, and it really, the, the show showed me um, to see food in a different way. Yeah. So I hope I that, that inspired people also to see so food. So cool for your family as thank well. You, yes. to see that. Yeah. yeah. Thank well, you. you can find all these recipes on our show's Facebook page and check out the first season of The Great American Recipe streaming through the end of the year on PBS.org.